Hey guys, Drew Brashler with DBB Audio. Today I am going to be diving into the effects tab of the X32 Mix app. The last two weeks I covered the home tab and the detail tab. If you haven't checked those out, make sure you go check out those videos first and then move on to this one. But let's go ahead and just dive right in. So we can see that we have our home tab, our detail tab, and then next is our effects tab. So if we just go ahead and click our effects tab, we can see that we have our effects racks one through eight listed here on the top. Basically to go switch between those, all we have to do is just click on the tabs here. Uh, the next thing that we would want to, to cover is routing. So the routing of effects wax run through four and five through eight are a little bit different as far as what you can select, but the actual routing itself is the same way. So if we want to change the routing of our effects wax one, we would just click bus 13 right here, and then we can scroll through our different things that we can select. On our effects wax one through four, we can do insert, which if we do this, then we can actually do a channel level insert using the configuration and preamp section of the X32. Or we can select any of our buses as well as the main mono center. Now, if you wanted to insert this on a stereo left, right, you would want to go ahead and insert the effect and then go select your left, right fader and then hit view on the configuration preamp section and then you can route it that way. As far as our effects racks five, through eight, it's the same thing. We go click right up here and then we can select our channel that we want to insert it on. Now we also can see that we have channels one through 32, as well as bus one through 16, our matrix, main left, right, and main mono center. So if we wanted to go ahead and insert this uh, compressor on one of my microphones, I would go ahead and click that. I would press yes. And then lastly, we'd wanna go ahead and press insert. Now, one cool thing to note about the actual effects portion of this is that our knobs are touch sensitive. So if we wanna go and click and turn it up or down, we can, and as well as our peak reduction here. And the other cool thing is that when you touch this, you can see that the number pops up. So if you have numbers that are associated with some of your favorite settings, you can just remember those numbers and then go and dial those in. Now those numbers also pop up with our graphic EQs which we can see here, up and down, and then any of our um, reverbs as well. Uh, the next thing that we have is over here, we have our copy and paste settings. So say if I had my favorite plate reverb on effects rack one, and I wanted to go ahead and move that to effects rack two, the easiest way of doing this is going ahead and pressing the copy button here, and then we can click on effects rack two, and then we can go paste and click yes. And up in the right hand corner up here, we can see our effects button. This is basically how we select the effect type onto this effects rack. So we can see that we have all of our time-based effects and then more of our insert-based effects here. Now, if we go and click into effects rack five through eight, and then we click this, we can notice that none of our time-based effects are here because we can't insert a time-based effect on effects rack five through eight. The next button that we can see here is our presets button. And so we can go ahead and click that. This is basically gonna be any of the presets that are in your library of effects. Now, a little plug here, I just released a 100 effects preset download. So this is 100 of effects presets that are my favorite settings on some of my favorite effects types of the X32 and the Midas M32 boards. You can see the download right here if you'd like to go ahead and check that out you definitely can and so basically if we find one that we want to go ahead and actually insert we can go ahead and click that and then we can press load once we want to load this we can click yes and then it's loaded and we can see that we can uh, raise and lower our knobs here. We can also see that right down here in the bottom right hand corner is the number one and two. And if there is an additional layer of adjustments, we wanna go ahead and click the two button and then we can um, change things like our pre-delay. Now, if we have all of our settings here and this is something that we wanted to go ahead and save into an effect slot, we can go ahead and click presets and then we can click save you can title it, and this is a little bit of a bug, but you can title it whatever you want to, and we can see large hall ha, and I can press done, and are you sure you wanna overwrite? And you would click yes, and then we'd go ahead and overwrite that. Uh, we can also delete and copy. If you wanna get into that, you can. 
And then the very last thing that I want to show you guys is that on the graphic EQs, we can actually overlay our RTA onto it. And then we have our RTA button right hand down here in the left hand corner. So we can go ahead and click RTA. Now there's two types of the RTA layover. We can do spectrograph and bar. And depending on the type of that you like, you can change your preferences. And basically to change the preferences, we go ahead and click setup, and then we can go to our global tab, and then our selection is here between bar and spectrograph. So if we wanted to do the bar, we can go back to our effects, and we can see that we have our bar RTA overlaid on our graphic EQ. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to post below. Uh, also, make sure to subscribe to my channel as you will be up to date with the most recent videos that I'm releasing on the X32. Otherwise, make sure you check out the blog post that goes along with this whole series as it has a little bit more information than just these videos do. Thank you so much for watching.